has went highly successfully indeed. This looks technical. Sure. Sure Take bit. this bit of string. It's not been a good day. We only bent this so badly that I had to tie it to the end of the container and then pull it apart the tractor. Why did you key out it? Bring a tractor in, please. He's not even going to watch that. I know that's a winner. That was good. Goodness sake. Not far. No. Like one row round? One and a half. Are we going to need to phone Peter? Yeah, I would say so. Oh. If you didn't know, everyone watching, these are supposed to be together. Well, this lasted longer or more. Yeah, Cut three good. fields. That's bits of belt. That's not dirt. I fear they've been going for a while. Yeah, so do I. I fear they've been going we for a while. We should maybe have opened this up before we bought it. Mm. I don't think that's just a one hit wonder, that one. Thick grass, wet grass. Grass that should have been cut a while ago, but we didn't have any weather. Has all contributed to the demise <laughs> of our moor. Okay, phone the contractor, and let's pay him and buy this. Best of both worlds. It's not been a good day. Hi, right. Peter. How's it going? Good. You've not got a you've not got a mower on, have you? Uh, yes, right. Oh, amazing! I've got some beautiful fields here that need cut. Right. Would you be able to pop out at some stage? No, I okay. That's great. Cheers, Peter. Thanks. Bye. Hey, have to get the professionals in. And so now we've now we've actually bought this, but still having to pay the contractors to come and do it. <laughs> Never mind. And, and do you know what? This isn't Never. even the most frustrating thing that's happened today, so that's saying something. And look at this, eventually we got our hay cut and in this picture you can see all the hay that has been spread out and kicked right across the field and that allows the sun to bake it and dry it right out and that's what makes fresh grass into hay. And what you can see just now is the rowing up machine, so this rows all of the the hay into a big thick row ready for the baler to come in and gather it up. And we had a really, really good crop off this field. The, the film that you're watching just now is the river field as we call it. It runs right along the banks of the river, river Nith. Uh, and we ended up getting about 150 bales off of this field alone, which was fantastic. And we were actually really, really lucky to get this break in the weather. It started raining heavily just after they were baled. Uh, and we had about four days of good weather to get the, the hay done, which in the whole summer is pretty dreadful. So now the baler is in the field. Everything is being wrapped. We wrap all of our bales because they need to stay outside. It helps preserve them. It helps um, keep them as fresh as possible. 
and allows us to store it outside for the whole entire winter. And then when you open up a bale again, open up that plastic round about it, it uh, it's as fresh as the day that you put it in. So it's a really successful way to store your hay and ensures that the animals have good quality feed for the whole winter. So the plastic that we wrap our bales with is green and the most common colour of plastic for bales is black, it's the cheapest that you can get, however because we're in the farm park and we're filming the bales all the time uh, and you see them sitting in the background, black plastic is actually really ugly and we like the nice cheery look that the, the light green brings. So we have used pink before as well, it's not as readily available but the light green looks really nice. So the rain has now finally hit and this was what I was alluding to earlier on. We just managed to get the bales in time and you can see the tracks that the, the handler and the tractor are making in the field so it shows you how wet the ground conditions became really quickly. So this is a tedious job now of bringing all of the bales from the field into our big uh, bale stack. So with over 300 bales to do, it can feel like you're never getting there and we get 12 bales on every single load. So you can do the math, there's a lot of loads to bring in, it's very time consuming. However, it only needs done once and once it's done, it's the most satisfying feeling ever. That you've got your harvest made, the bales in, stacked, ready for the winter and all your preparation is done for feeding the animals. Okay, so that's us finished harvest for 2024. In total, we have over 400 bales and that will be more than enough to see us over the winter and keep all of our stock well fed. Thankfully, we got a break in the weather to get our second cut in. It was a bit touch and go, but the job's done. All the bales are in and it's a job well done. So thanks everyone for watching. Remember and subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you all in the next one.